In this video, we'll be going over the newly released feature allowing Algo IP endpoints to register directly to Microsoft Teams natively via their SIP gateway. This is a new feature on firmware version 5.3.2. How to add Algo devices into Microsoft Teams. The first step in the process to register Algo IP endpoints to Microsoft Teams SIP gateway is to set up a user in Microsoft Teams, where you'll be associating it with a target device to be registered. This particular user in Microsoft Teams is generally configured with a shared device license, although it could also instead use a full user license. It's also important to notice a DID, regular 10-digit phone number, must be associated with the account via a calling plan or other means. The DID is required in order for the whole process to complete properly. If the user is simply created in Microsoft Teams, but no DID is associated, the process will fail towards the next steps. We'll go ahead here and show an example of creating a shared device license. The display name is a mandatory field, but I'm not going to be filling out the first name or last name. It doesn't quite apply logically to our use case here. For the sake of the example, I will use Algo Paging Device. The other field that is required is a username. I will go ahead and add Algo Paging at algosolutions.com. Please note, in your case, it will be the domain of your company. We'll go ahead and say next, and that's where we select the licenses, where we'll be applying. As mentioned, generally, paging endpoints will be deployed with a shared device license. You can see here the type of license as well as the number of available licenses. We're going to go ahead and select this one, shared device license, say next. In here, there's some optional information, which is generally not required, but that's for each user to decide. We'll go ahead and just skip that for now. Say next, and here we have all the information. Review this before actually creating the account. When the user clicks finish, adding, it is all set up. We're still missing the DID, but as far as creating the user uh, within Microsoft 365 admin portal, it is done. Now we will open the web interface to find our IP device that we're registering within Microsoft Teams. In this case, I happen to be using an Algo 8301 IP paging adapter and scheduler. I'm going to go ahead and log in. This is all the default settings, by the way. So just using the default admin password here, once I'm logged in, I want to navigate to the advanced settings. Then the sub tab here is called admin. Scrolling all the way down, we have this entire section for Microsoft Teams support here. We will enable it and click save. As you can see, you have this red banner up here. You're going to be prompted to reboot. Once you reboot, you'll see a countdown. Once the countdown gets to zero, it may show additional time required. The whole process here will typically take about five minutes, and once complete, the web page will reload automatically. So it's been about five minutes, and we have our Algo 8301 back up now and provisioned. Before we talk about next steps, just a couple things to notice here on the screen that are now different. We have this entire section for Microsoft Teams. There's a couple options down here for generating a new pairing code and signing in. We'll go over those in a second. Uh, you can see here uh, the SIP registration status down uh, below is showing successful now, uh, registered to this extension. It's technically not registered yet. This is an intermediary step in the process. So we'll go over the next step now, which is the pairing code. So this is the code that will allow the Microsoft Teams account to be associated with this device and provision. In order to associate the pairing code with the account, we have to sign in with our Microsoft Teams account. So for that, we'll use the sign in button here in just a second. But before we go and start to do this, the other thing to keep in mind is the pairing code is only valid for a few minutes and it does expire. If it does expire, you'll be notified. As you're signing into the Microsoft account to generate a new pairing code, you'll be notified the pairing code is no longer valid, it's expired, or something along those lines. So we'll probably be generating a new pairing code here just to show you that process. But first, I'll go ahead and click uh, Sign In. This will open up a tab and load up Microsoft. So here we are. 
Before entering the pairing code, we'll start by signing into Microsoft Teams account that we want to associate with the Algo 8301. Go ahead and approve this request. Some users may see this, some may not. Uh, this is for multi-factor authentication. Here we go. So I'm signed in. Uh, I'm going to say no here. That's up to the user. Uh, now I have the ability to generate a new pairing code. So we'll go back to the 8301. I'm actually going to generate a new pairing code. So if you keep an eye here, you'll notice this will be changing. There we go. So that's our new pairing code. I'm going to go ahead and copy it, head back to the Microsoft SIP gateway portal, paste it here and click pair. So it says authorization succeeded and we're almost ready. Now what's going to happen at this point is the 8301 will go through one last step in the process and reboot one last time. This will take about two minutes. At this point, uh, the page will have to be manually refreshed. After the two minute process, we will come back and it will be registered. You will see the wording has changed as well as the SIP registration status. As a quick test, if you keep an eye on the call status here, I'll actually call this number and we can see the status changing, confirming we are registered and everything is working. There you go. The whole process took less than 10 minutes. There are other settings on the device that can be changed, such as multicast among many others. But as far as registering to Microsoft Teams, that's it. This concludes registering your Algo device via the Microsoft SIP gateway. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to a member of our support team today. Thanks.